Hello everyone, good morning. Today I will be discussing about the HLS audio streaming. Uh, in this um, video, I will be basically um, explaining the working mechanism of HLS and with the help of one um, example in Node.js. And this, uh, and in this video, I'll be taking a reference of one of my article that uh, you can see in your screen uh, that I have recently published in Medium. Okay, let's get started. So, uh, what is HLS? Let me um, little bit magnify so that it will be clear and readable to you. Uh, HLS uh, is the HTTP based adaptive bitrate uh, streaming protocol that was developed by Apple in 2009 and it has a support uh, for media players, wide range of media players, web browsers, mobile devices and uh, obviously streaming media servers. And uh, the main reason uh, that uh, we have to uh, use HLS is because it is fast. Fast in the sense uh, the large <coughs> file is divided into segments uh, of few, uh, few uh, seconds in length and uh, uh, those files are fetched on a respective uh, player time for example if if uh, if the file is of uh, 4 minute and uh, what hls does is it uh, divides the uh, file into the different segments of uh, for example 10 second or 14 second or 5 and 5 second and uh, if your flare, flare time flare time generally starts as zero right and uh, it basically loads the uh, first segment uh, that is of the 0 to 10 second and if uh, that is played and then it loads uh, another segments and the, and the, the play, uh, and then next uh, and then another segment will be loaded not the whole last file have to be loaded uh, loaded so so that makes the response time quite fast uh, and uh, also it, it reduces the payload um, payload size so um, it it, uh, it makes the uh, process fast and another reason is uh, it uses adaptive bitrate streaming the adaptive bitrate streaming is the um, technique of streaming that basically allows uh, videos or audios to keep playing even if the network condition changes uh, for example, there, there might be network throttling. Sometimes the net that there is a uh, high quality of network, and sometimes um, it gets degrades. Um, in the meantime, we play the media. For example, if there is good quality of network, uh, uh, and good or suppose let's say that is intermediate, then the 720 the segments of uh, 720 pixels and get loaded. And if if the network uh, uh, quality increases then it, it will it will load 1080 if, if we have a higher quality then it, it may load that uh, but uh, if, if there is again changes um, in the network quality then it, it will get back to the, the another segment will be of the 720 and if, even if even that get degraded uh, that will get back to uh, 360 and if that improves then that will get back to the another segments of higher quality and uh, the, the, in this way, the, the, the player will not stop, but it will it will change the quality of these uh, segments uh, uh, throughout the <coughs> player time. And another thing is, uh, as I have already mentioned, is unwanted uh, or unwatched or only some portion of the file won't be downloaded because uh, um, only only the file that have to be played will be downloaded, and uh, the whole file will not be downloaded at the start. Uh, and uh, the, the, the segments will be downloaded as the player progresses and another thing is uh, it's, uh, it doesn't require any extra server or client configuration so it is easy to set up uh, and use as a yeah, HTTP protocol and uh, talking about the working mechanism it uh, gets started obviously it is a HTTP it gets started from the server the server basically encodes uh, the video uh, into the different format. Uh, we will see the command uh, that will be more clear to you. And uh, then uh, it will divide that video, that encoded video into the segments. And then it will generate the manifest file that will be distributed, uh, distributed in the distributor uh, by serving uh, through some servers like S3 or in, in a file server. 
then th that will that will have information about all the ts file or chunks that have been generated and um, the respective files will be loaded on the client machine uh, basically I, I was talking about this uh, different quality of the uh, video or, or media file that is uh, this is of low index and this is of uh, alternate mid index and this is of a uh, high index uh, we, we can make the um, different qualities of chunks and then uh, and then made the uh, have stored all those information in the uh, index file or manifest file and, and uh, we can we can solve that file so that uh, um, the hls can handle sls player can handle the, the uh, stream accordingly so uh, i have one example uh, let's go through that okay uh, here is the repo uh, I, I will i will mention that on description as well so that it will be easier uh, for you as well that is hls demo and let me get it started so i uh, the first thing that we have to do is uh, we have to initiate a project with the npm unit uh, and then we have to add the folder I have added the songs folder with the songs uh, of one of the popular Nepali so Nepati resum and uh, I have made the directory for storing songs and I have added the util function <coughs> that uh, that will convert the mp3 into songs so what it does is uh, it uh, it looks for the um, directory that is uh, here in the songs <coughs> and then and then it uh, it looks for the files if the if the file exists then uh, I have used the ffmpeg uh, uh, it it should be installed on your machine uh, and then uh, it will look for that file and then convert the uh, convert the files into songs according to the properties that uh, we have mentioned here are a few properties that is a um, baseline uh, is uh, I want to uh, I want to have a support for the low range of devices so I have used baseline you can use main or, uh, or high quality of according to the properties mentioned in the encoding of um, SMAC video and uh, and there is a start number a start number basically uh, means uh, start from the zero and uh, I am planning to generate the each song with the 10 second in length that is uh, that should be in second uh, and then uh, uh, yeah flag denotes for the uh, hls video uh, sorry hls files and that that will generate the m3 u8 <coughs> file with m3 u8 uh, extension uh, and uh, we'll have the hls properties that that will uh, uh, I, i'll mention you later and uh, and did the end uh, by this way we can we can generate the file and let's uh, run this command okay, let me zoom mode and utils and then mp3 to chunks okay let me run this this uh, the reading of file is started let me um, okay let me go through these 10 files yes yeah you, you can see the songs have, have been generated and there is one 0.m3 u8 file that is manifest file index file that was that i was talking and uh, this uh, this uh, file contains the um, properties and uh, manifest let me describe the properties to you briefly so <coughs> the manifest file contains uh, yes this kind of structure here xtm 3 u means this indicates the file is an extended m3 your file uh, every hls must start with this tag uh, every file that you generate starts with this tag and another is, is version indicates the compatible version of the playlist file now the version is 3 that you can find in the hls uh, in the um, Apple link. I think uh, there, there is there is a clear dimension about this. You know, what uh, what does uh, version three means? Uh, 
and uh, another uh, is target duration and the duration of the file obviously and next thing is uh, media sequence uh, sequence um, that means it starts with uh, which number and then um, process with what <coughs> the sequence number of uh, url is uh, generally incremented by one uh, if you if you see the, you can see in the example 0 1 2 it, it has been incremented by one <coughs> and another is uh, extend inf and that tag specify the duration of media segment this will be followed by a url uh, of the associated media segment uh, and this this is mandatory it's uh, this is how the hls player understand um, when to start uh, the segment for example in the extent inf is uh, its duration is and this much and it is followed by the URI. that means the file that is that that is stored in the same in the in this directory that is the path or URI. and uh, once the manifest file is generated uh, let's test it uh, for testing we have to set up this server so here uh, i already have uh, set up the server so for server and that basically um, takes the url and looks for the file whether that is in this uh, tem temporary directory or not and then and then if the if the file exists then it will solve the content okay it's um, that much okay let me start the server or start the run the main js yes, it has uh, started and let me and then another thing is uh, another, another thing is uh, we have we need uh, this uh, hls native player player to test the uh, one of the browser extension to test this uh, uh, hls playback okay let me it's loading oh okay uh, why it's not being loaded it is found not oh sorry this is wrong it should be a thousand right and so you can see and the media file has been loaded and it started playing so let's look at the network the fourth segment is loaded as it is in the 17 second or uh, let me fast forward it you can you can see the all the chunks have been loaded accordingly so this is how this is how hls audio streaming works uh, basically hls mean live streaming it also works for the on demand uh, the example that i have uh, illustrated is on demand uh, streaming and uh, yeah i think that sums up this uh, uh, demonstration for node.js you can find this uh, repo mm -hmm. in the github and um, other things is uh, basically in, in an ideal case uh, the file the m3 file or hla systeming is handled with the help of s3 and uh, and all those things uh, are mentioned in the repository you can take care from this uh, upload song to s3 and then solve from there so yeah that's it Thank you.